you, you know Steve Harvey? Yeah. Big fan of Steve Harvey on this show, obviously. I mean, again, <clears throat> for me, Steve Harvey is just this inexplicable... His existence is inexplicable to me. You know how, like, he doesn't believe in evolution? Yeah. Well, I don't believe in Steve Harvey in a way because <laughs> I, I find it hard to believe that somebody whose job is basically to act shocked at, at the most, you know, pre-rehearsed scripted shit. Uh, and, and, and because of his station that he's achieved for doing this on a inexplicably popular TV show, he then also thinks he can talk about things like evolution um, how he doesn't believe it's real, uh, mainly uh, because, <laughs> because we've still got monkeys. Oh, we still got so, monkeys. Yeah, so it's so it's, it's definitely it's definitely not real, is it? Because there are still some monkeys. I've seen them in <laughs> zoos. Um, and also how he hates atheists because atheists can't be trusted. Um, because if, if you don't believe in God, who knows what you're gonna do? Uh, he also doesn't like gay men very much. He says you're not a real man if you're gay. And, um, yeah, he also believes in, like, you know, a woman's place and all that and drove his ex-wife mad um, by apparently doing all sorts of weird brainwashing techniques on her. I mean, that's what she says. So he's a bit of a strange cunt. So the first thing that kind of made me happy, which it, it's not really a big deal, because why why would this be any different, right? But he had a new show called Thunderdome, right? Which is obviously a play on words of Thunderdome, you know? Uh, I don't know what's happening in Steve Harvey's Thunderdome. I've never checked it out. I'm going to imagine, especially looking at the picture of Steve Harvey with a shit-eating grin on his face below the word Thunderdome. <laughs> I'm going to imagine it's absolute cancer of the soul. <laughs> And it's just not good at all. That's what I'm going to imagine, right? But it got leaked. It got leaked, didn't it? It got leaked. And, uh, you know, you've seen those pirating sites and all that stuff, Sam, where leaked shows go to. And kids download them, don't they? They use things like torrents and, and that kind of thing. Uh, well, no one downloaded Thunderdome. <laughs> but, like, it was just there. And people saw it. Oh, look, Steve Harvey's new show. Yeah, he's a cunt, though, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. And then they went and downloaded porn or a Game of Thrones episode. You know, whatever else people use piracy for. It's pretty much just porn and Game of Thrones, really. But um, and, and the occasional cracked game, I imagine. But that's about it, right? And Steve Harvey has no place in that world. So obviously no one was going to download it. But it did give me a laugh that there wasn't one curious cunt just not one person who just thought, yeah, I'll give that a watch. Nah. Steve Harvey is basically like a sign saying, warning dog shit inside. <laughs> no one wants to open that box, did he? And if you put Steve Harvey's face on it, yeah, just it's dog shit's inside. So I thought, fair enough, we might have seen the end of, of Steve Harvey. But we haven't, because he's back to saying ridiculous things, which is pretty much what he does for a living, as far as I can tell. Yeah. Uh, and this, I thought, this is just a cracker, Sam. So he was on a radio show, right? Um, and I don't know what, they were probably interviewing him about Thunderdome, I imagine. And somebody caught, it was like a call-in or something, and somebody... Uh, uh, somebody called up and they were talking about uh, basketball for some reason. And they said that, you know, Cleveland didn't deserve anything because uh, the, the Cavaliers lost to the Golden State Warriors. So Steve Harvey, because he's from Cleveland, he took it a little bit personally, right? So what would you say to somebody if you knew they were from Flint? You know, you could say, where's your basketball team? Something like that, I guess. Keep it in the wheelhouse, you know, within the realm of basketball. No, he said, uh, hey, you from Flint? That's why you all ain't even got clean water. When? <laughs> Van, uh, God when, when was the last time you touched water and it didn't have lead in it? Good. Right? 
So the the host started saying to Steve, start reeling it, reel it in, reel it in. But Steve Harvey didn't reel it in. He said, I wasn't talking about the city of Flint. I was talking about him. He going to call in, say Cleveland don't deserve Jack and he over there bathing in all that silver water. <laughs> Harvey said before the end of the call, one more thing. Enjoy your nap. <laughs> Enjoy your nice brown glass of water. <laughs> Can we listen call. to it, but yeah, put it on, mate. It might even be fun here when he says it. Like, right, ready? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Three, two, three, one. Three, this. two, one. Go. go. Calm it down. <laughs> All right, you're, you're out there now. You're over the edge. <laughs> Reel it in, man. No, 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 go ahead and apologize, Jack. Go ahead and apologize. Apologize for what? What you just said? Apologize <laughs> just for what? Apologize for what, bitch? I ain't gonna apologize for nothing. I want him to explain. Sorry, Jack. 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 Sorry, Oh, you made that shot. <laughs> you know, you said right. he gonna call this uh -oh, uh -oh. Don't deserve don't Jack. He on that baby it. and all that silver water. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> we really are. We're moving <laughs> on right now. Let's go to Benita. Hey, hold on, hold on. One more thing. What was his name? His name was Dee. He was out of Michigan. No, no, no. Oh, he's what still on name? there. D. Oh, he's still there. Yeah. Okay, D. <laughs> Okay. okay. I'm just talking. You know, He's here for it, Steve. He's no, I'm here. I'm, here. I'm yeah. glad you're here for it. All right. I appreciate that. Hey, 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 one more thing, though. Oh, yeah. Enjoy your nice brown glass of water. What's the record for? Oh, the guy right was there. being so nice as well. <laughs> Alright, man. Just one more thing. Right. Choke to death on that poisonous brown water. What <laughs> the <laughs> fuck? Ah, it's mental. Uh, now, here's the thing, Sam. Here's the thing. Like. <laughs> Now, everyone's, like, going, yeah, he's, he's all right. He's all right, Steve Harvey now. Everyone likes Steve Harvey now. I don't know if people kept up with what was happening in Flint. Like, a bunch of people did die. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, of, like, be corporate negligence. You know, and, and as a resident of Flint, this per for all you know, he might have been affected. Could have had to watch his fucking, like, nan just die horrifically before his eyes. And then, it, like, I'll just, I don't know what will take my mind off the horror. I'll ring into this radio show to have a bit of banter with Steve Harvey about basketball. <laughs> Enjoy nice brown glass of water. Oh, Steve fucking Harvey. People are saying he should do stand-up. He used to do stand-up. He weren't funny. Yeah. But he did That's used to do stand-up. That's why he's doing this now. Yeah, exactly. Imagine, right, if, I don't know, a fucking funny comedian was doing something like what, you know, uh, family feud. Can you imagine? This is why I'm always kind of secretly glad. I mean, not secretly glad, but a little bit glad that, you know, there's like, you never had to see Bill Hicks do that shit, right? You know, it's a tragedy. I love Bill Hicks. He's like one of my icons and heroes. And I don't believe he would have sold out. But what if he did? What if he got to like, you know, 50 and he just thought, fuck Judging it, I'm just the there. Factor, being the, yeah. the mean judge. All the edgy shit he did when he was 20 just completely fucking ruined. Do you know what I mean? It would break my heart. It would break my heart more than his tragically untimely death. Seeing him there. And, well, what, what have we got on the board? <laughs> no, Bill. No, you said you'd never do this. You always swore that was like half your act about how you'd never sell out. No. So the kind of, uh, the kind, yeah, exactly. The kind of fate that, uh, you know, befalls you when you work a TV show like Family Feud is fitting for an unfunny comedian. And trust me, if you want to Google some of Steve Harvey's uh, fucking stand-up, it's terrible. It's terrible.
What does it all mean?